Andy from Balloon Utopia and Market with Balloons. And today, I'm going to show you something that you guys have been asking for for a really long time. So I keep telling you to tell me what you want me to teach you, and this is probably one of the most requested things. So a couple of years back, I made a, a video showing how I did a nautical column. And on that column, we had an anchor. And since then, you guys have been asking me how to make that anchor, and I've actually brought the materials to get that to shoot that several times and then ran out of time. So today I wanted to make sure that I got that done and I want to show you how we're going to make this anchor. All right, so to begin with, what we have here is some aluminum rod. And it it doesn't matter so much like what the sizes are. I mean, it just really depends on what size you want for the anchor. And it really is a pretty simple uh, a pretty simple type of sculpture. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to take some duct tape, maybe, and we're just going to tape these pieces of aluminum rod together in a few places. Okay, so put a little piece up here at the top because for most of it, I want these two pieces to act as one piece. And we'll put a, some down here. Just like so. Okay, and now we wanna create the part that kinda of comes up like that. So it's basically just an arrow. I mean, essentially, and this is, Essentially, all we're going to do is we're just kind of taking it and we're bending it like that. And we want to do the same thing on the other side. And that's probably the harder part is to make it mirror. And essentially, this is the frame, just like that. It's, uh, you know, some, some frames are really intricate and complicated. But essentially, when, when you're framing, uh, especially what I would call two-dimensional, um, it's really just a line drawing of whatever it is that you're making, and then you're going to give it the balloon skin. Okay, so now we'll come back with the, with the tape and tape up all of our, you know, uh, where I cut it, where it's a little bit sharp, uh, wherever it could pop the balloons, things like that, and then we're going to load it. All right, so that's basically, that's basically our frame. Let me just put another piece of tape on each of those two ends there, make sure that we don't have any... any uh, poppy points. Nothing more frustrating than when you're trying to make a, something out of balloons and you've got, you know, a little sharp point that just keeps popping in the same place over and over and over again. So you always just want to make sure to cover the sharp points. Now, a lot of times when I'm making frames, I'm not going to do it today, but a lot of times when I'm making frames, just to make sure that, um, you know, that it's going to really look nice and, and um, and uh, <laughs> just to make sure that it's going to look really nice and polished, um, what I'll do is I will wrap the whole frame with either electrical tape or, uh, or I might paint it or I might even wrap a balloon around it. And I have a video on how to wrap a balloon around a pole um, and it's that, same, it's that same technique. And that way, if there's a little gap, you won't see the silver of the metal, of the unfinished metal. So it'll all look nice and, and uh, you know, uniform. But for the sake of brevity, we're not going to do that today. Uh, what we are going to do is we're just going to take our balloons. Now, I have these balloons inflated to um, about, about three inches or so. So generally speaking, if, you, if your sculpture is about three feet, then you might want your balloons to be about three inches a piece so that there's a relationship in the proportions from the, the size of the piece in feet to the inches of the balloon. So for example, let's say you're making a 10 foot arch, you probably want to put your, inflate your balloons to about 10 inches. Anyways, so all we're gonna do, we're taking our quads, and remember our quads are we take two balloons, tie them together, and then twist those two duplets together to make our quad. And essentially, you just kind of start at the bottom point and, and twist them on. Now, where it gets a little bit tricky is, you'll see when we come to it, is down at the bottom, we're probably going to tie one in to really bring out that point. And then also, when we go from, from packing this side and this side to going up this way, that's where you might have to navigate it a little bit. All right, so...
you see we're just we're just uh, same same like it was a, a column or any other type of arch or garland we're just gonna twist those balloons on okay so now we have the bottom part and now we're gonna start packing going up here now sometimes as you're going around curves or when you're changing from going straight across to going up, you may have to cheat and put a little duplet in to make it uh, to make it work. So we'll see if the if the quad will sit the way we want it to, and if not, then we'll put a little duplet and then start building on that. Yeah, I think we can get it. I think it'll be fine on this one. So I think it'll work out. basic arrow our, our basic anchor I want to give it a little bit more of a focal point down here so I'm gonna take uh, my round balloon <laughs> this one's kind of a messy build isn't it all right <laughs> I'm gonna dump all the balloons out all over the place okay so I'm just gonna take a round balloon and blow it up kind of bigger than the rest to give that kind of focal point right there. I think right about that size is good. And then I'm just going to tie that in basically right where the right where the two sets meet to, to give it more of a focal point as you'll see in just one moment. And then we're going to do a little bit of detail work. So you see that kind of nicely finishes it off and gives it that gives it that bottom piece there. Okay, so now we want to create kind of the the loop for the chain. So all we're going to do for that is we're just going to take a 260 and make a make a circle essentially, make a loop, tie it, and then we're just going to kind of tie it in, tie it into the piece. And always go down below. You don't want to just attach it to the top cluster because that might make it, you know, the whole thing kind of pop off the edge. So if you just kind of like figure eight it around maybe the, the top, you know, two or three clusters, then you're going to have better luck. Okay, so now we have, now we have that. And now we want to make our chain. So to make our chain, we're going to take two gold 260s and we're going to tie them together. And then we're going to take another set of two gold 260s and tie them together. Okay, and we're going to put it through our little our little loop here and then twist. So it's going to connect on and we'll cut off those ugly bits in just a moment. Okay, and now we're going to put the second one kind of right nestle it in. We're not twisting it in, we're just kind of laying it on top. And now we're gonna twist those over it. And then we're going to just kind of keep doing it. And so you see, as we repeat the pattern, this kind of makes this, this chain link effect. I'm just gonna make a little bit of chain. I'm gonna go ahead and close it off here. I don't need to make a full, a full chain to you know go up and all around the room and whatever. We'll just make this one a small one. Then, if you wanted to make it even fancier, there. If you wanted to make it even fancier, you could make the cross piece that comes out here. So you would just you know take a take another. Um, even you could just do it with uh, some garland packed onto a 260. 
and, and basically just kind of fit it in here so that you had the cross piece. But I'm just gonna make it a, a, much, a much simpler anchor. I'm actually gonna bring that down like that. And uh, let me just finish this off here. Put a couple of pinch twists in to close it all up and pull, close it nicely. And then we'll cut off our uglies. scissors right there. Okay. <laughs> Don't do this at home. Okay, and then cut these off too just to really make everything nice and cleaned up. And of course, you know, you could make the, the chain link as long as you want it or need it um, according to where you're, where you're going to be using it. But there we have, there we have, there we go. But there we have our anchor. All right, now if you like this, or even if you don't like it, be sure that you subscribe to my channel, be sure that you like the video, and that you comment, tell me what else do you wanna learn. Like I said, you guys have been asking for this and that's why this is here on the channel right now because this was your request. So I wanna know more, what else do you wanna learn? I make a new video every single week. What should we do next week? All right, until then, I'll be seeing you next week. Thanks guys.